This video is intended to give an introduction to the concept of partial R squared, which is a great result. It lets us examine the contribution of each variable separately to the model's explanatory power when dealing with multiple regression. So I've set up a template here um, that we're going to use to process many sets of regression results in order to determine the partial R squared for each variable in the model. The data that we're going to be looking at is data for apartment prices. So we have several uh, apartment prices here, I believe in the Austin area. We've got the rent price, the square feet, whether or not the unit is pet friendly, whether or not the unit has a washer and dryer, and the distance from the capital. So the first thing that I would like to do is just go ahead and run a multiple variant regression using everything that we have. So we'll go to regression, data, data analysis, regression. Um, there is a link if you'd like to learn how to add the data analysis tool pack. You will need the data analysis tool pack in order to run a regression. It's built into Excel, but you have to turn on that functionality. Um, so we'll input Y first. Our dependent variable will be the price or the, the rent of the apartments. Inputting X, um, I'm clicking on the label hitting control shift right and down in order to highlight all of the data including the labels for size, pet friendly, washer dryer, and distance from the capital. Uh, I'm indicating labels within the regression menu. And again, to pop in and out here, I'm just using these little window icons that help you to select data. Um, I'm indicating that I'm using labels. I want my results in a new worksheet. I click on uh, the regression plot so that we can check the assumptions. We won't be doing that here. Um, but that's what you click to get those and then say OK. And here you have your regression results. Uh, of course, there's a lot of great results here, but what we're curious about for our template is we're going to need these ANOVA results for each of our regressions. This is the first regression. We've used all of the X variables. I am highlighting the ANOVA results and hitting Control C. I will then bounce over to my template. As you can see, ANOVA all. I'm, I'm clicking on the first white cell within my input area here, and I'm putting the ANOVA for all of the results. Um, I'll go ahead and calculate a, the adjusted R squared for this set of results. Um, beyond looking at the partial R squared, looking at the adjusted R squared is also really helpful to track what's going on with the model. So in this case, uh, our adjusted R squared is equal to 1 minus MSE, which is the sum of squared error, or SSE, divided by the degrees of freedom, N minus K minus 1. Um, so 1 minus that divided by uh, the sum of squares total over its degrees of freedom, which is N minus 1. So in this case, our partial R squared for the regression, including all of the variables, is 0.72. In other words, 72% of the variation in rent is explained by the model as a whole. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start breaking down the model. We're going to pull out one variable at a time. And by pulling that variable out, we're going to be able to see what the additional contribution of that variable is to the model, um, holding constant or over and above the other variables in the model. So the first one we're going to drop is just the, um, the first is x1. So going back to our data, x1 is square feet. So let's go ahead and run the model again without square feet. So data, data analysis, regression, OK. Uh, y comes up automatically. I'm going to click this button to pop out of that menu in order to select my X variables. And I will skip X1, and I will highlight X2 all the way through X4, Control shift right and down. And I've got labels indicated, new worksheet. At this point, I no longer need the residual plots, and I'll hit OK. All right, now we have to keep track of which variable we're omitting, so I'm going to go back to the data real quick, grab size or square feet, minimize this and pop that right here. So the variable of interest in this case is the removed variable size or square feet. And I'm going to go back now to that 
data sheet and I'm going to grab the results without square feet. And you can see no square feet here. Hit control C. Now going back to the template, I'm going to paste that right here. Now with the adjusted R squared, we can copy that down, just copy and paste. And you can see that we've gone from being able to explain 72% of the variation in rent to only being able to explain 21% of the variation in rent. So this is a powerful variable size, as we would expect it to be in a model for apartment rent. We now need to calculate the partial R squared for one, or size, dot else. So what is the explanatory power of size holding constant or after including all of the other variables? And that will equal SSR with minus SSR without. And a little intuition there. That is, um, SSR is the portion of the variation Y that is explained by the model. So we're looking at where we get by adding size as compared to where we were without size. And we're going to divide by the um, sum of squares residual SSE without. And the purpose for that is um, imagine if this were our model and we were considering the addition of square feet. What we're trying to explain by adding square feet is we're trying to explain what is unexplained by the model without square feet. So in essence, you can think of this as being our new goal or our new sum of squared total uh, in, in a way. Anyway, hitting enter. So we see that 64.5% uh, of the variation in rent is explained by square feet holding the other variables constant. And we're going to repeat this process as we go through the remaining variables. Um, and when we get done, we'll have a real nice look at the relative strength of the, of the variables. And uh, we'll be able to see the strength of the model without the variable of interest relative to the whole model. And also we'll be able to see this contribution factor for each of our variables. So uh, continuing in the process, I'm going to bring up the data again. We'll go back to the main data sheet. This time we have to pull out X2, so we're going to pull out pet friendly. And I'm going to go ahead and do this first. Control C, pop back into the template, and paste that right here. So we're interested in the separate contribution of pet friendly over and above the rest of the model. So going back to um, our data, we're going to run the model without pet friendly. Now we run into an issue because we've got some of X here and sum of x here and we need to have all of our x variables side by side and continuous so I'm going to pull this out and go ahead and delete that column um, let me redo that a little slower so clicking on D hovering on the border you can turn your cursor into a little cross looks like a compass and you can click and drag just make sure that your labels are at the same height because you can also shift the data you wouldn't want to do that so right clicking and hitting delete. Now I'm ready to run this model without the variable of interest. So data, data analysis, regression. Y is already in there. And we'll change the X matrix, control shift right and down. Um, looks good. We get this new set of results. As you can see, no pet. So I'm hitting control C. I'm going to pop back into the template paste it in the appropriate location. Uh, I could copy both of these, but just for the sake of review, I'm going to run through the results separately and calculate them out. Um, also, I don't think we fixed the cell reference here, so that would mess things up. Okay, one point of interest here. When we removed pet friendly, adjusted R squared went from 0.72 to 0.723. So the model was actually very slightly improved by removing um, the indicator for pet friendly. This suggests that we are not going to have much of a partial R squared. In fact, it suggests that we would want to consider removing this variable from the model to make it more powerful. So this time, um, when I enter the formula, I'm going to also go ahead and lock the cell reference um, 
so that we can copy and paste it for the next two results. But once again, our formula for partial R squared is equal to SSR with minus SSR without. So how much has the model does the model improve by adding the variable of interest divided by SSE without? Kind of the, 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 the variation in Y that is left unexplained by the reduced model. And um, I'm going to lock the cell reference for SSR with so that it doesn't carry down with us when we copy this in a little bit and hit enter. So as we can see here, um, adjusted R squared was improved also. Pet friendly does not explain any of the variation in rent while holding the other variables in the model constant. So this is a real good candidate for removal. Um, moving on. So we have two more variables to process. Let's go back to our data and we can see that the next variable in line, I'm going to stick this back where it was. I right click and click insert, drag it back, and I'm going to drag washer dryer out. So, you know, and each time you do this, you want to consider intuitively what, you know, would having a washer dryer in the unit add to the rent price. So I'm going to hit control C and go ahead and throw this into our template so that we can keep track of what we're doing. This is our removed variable of interest. And so bouncing back to the data, we're gonna run this model again, data, data analysis, regression. Y is already covered, and actually X was too, but I'll click on the label square feet, control shift right and down, and uh, labels yes, new worksheet, okay. I'm gonna grab a Nova, control C, and throw it into our template and we will see that I'm just going to hit control C here and control V we can see that we've gone from the original adjusted R squared of 72 percent of the variation in Y down to 69 percent of the variation in Y and 9 percent of the variation 9.4 percent of the variation in rent is explained by having a washer dryer in the unit um, holding the other variables in the model constant or um, that is the variation specifically that was not explained by the other variables in our model. And so one more and we'll be done. So going back to the data, we now have to throw a washer dryer back in and remove the uh, distance from the capital. Once again, I'm going to copy the name of the variable that we're going to omit and throw it into our label section here, um, popping back to the data. We need to run our last regression, data, data analysis regression, okay. That's good. Um, for our X variables, control shift right and down. Good, labels good, okay. Grab ANOVA, control C, and then throw that into our template and copy our formulas down and we can see that um, once again by removing distance from the capital our model becomes much weaker we go from 72 percent of the variation in rent explained to only 59.2 percent of the variation in rent explained and so um, also the percent of the variation in rent that is explained by distance from the capital while holding size, pet friendly, and washer and dryer constant, or in other words, that was not explained by those three variables is 32%. Um, so that's quite a strong variable. Um, if I were to revise this model, I would drop pet friendly and retain the other three. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope that this helped.